everybody, it is great to be back. Today I'm going to be talking about vegan keto eating. I'm actually gonna do a what I eat in a day on vegan keto. Um, for those of you who don't know, I did move recently, so that's why you see some boxes and some chaos in the background, but that's okay, we're gonna move past all that. And I don't eat vegan keto all the time. I do not. If you are familiar with me at all, you know I switch it up. I tend to switch it up between high carb, low fat, and low carb, high fat, um, always plant-based. And this video is going to include, just as a disclosure, vegan doesn't mean necessarily whole food, plant-based, right? So this is gonna be a vegan keto uh, what I eat in a day. So it is going to include processed foods, some of my favorite ones, and I don't make the processed foods the bulk of what it is that I eat. It's more like um, a carrier for other vegetables that, and I, I use it as a tool to get more veggies in, as you will see, um, or an accent. I will do a whole food plant-based keto what I eat in a day soon. So stay tuned for that. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Give this video a thumbs up if you like that I am providing you with this content so you can see what I eat in a day. And let's get started. The first thing I did is food process some broccoli. And I am sorry for the vertical screen, y'all. I just sort of went on autopilot there for a minute. But uh, this is what I did. And I do this in the morning so I can sort of put this in the fridge while it's making some cancer-fighting isothiocyanates. And I add some tahini, which contains fat, which helps the fiber stay with you. And also it contains citrus, which helps the absorption of the iron in any green. Now, another thing about adding fats to your greens is that it's going to help absorb the fat-soluble vitamins like vitamin a and K specifically found in the broccoli here. The soy milk I just add to help get things moving and I also add turmeric, a little bit of cayenne just for flavor. And whenever I add turmeric, I always add black pepper to increase absorption. And I am adding also a little bit of garlic here, fresh garlic. Here you'll see me add some cold pressed extra virgin olive oil to a pan, which I don't normally recommend, but I'm using this to saute. Um, some onions and mushrooms, which again, normally I don't do. I usually water saute, but I went ahead and felt like it today. So that's what I did. If you're going to use an oil, which again, I don't recommend necessarily, but if you do, you want it to be cold pressed extra virgin olive oil. I try to get my G-bombs in. This includes onions and mushrooms every single solitary day. And here I had to rehydrate some mushrooms because I did not have mushrooms at home. So I just rehydrated them. It was fine. And I also try to get in as part of the G-bombs um, that Dr. Furman talks about. It's greens, the broccoli counts for that. The Just Egg product, that's basically mung bean. So that is the first B in the G-bombs acronym. Of course, I have my onions and mushrooms here. And the berries and seeds will come later. But for now, I'm putting some of my greens in with this mixture so I can make kind of a scramble. Not the greatest lighting, y'all, and I apologize for that, but it tasted really good. I always add some salsa at the end of my scrambles because that's just how I do it, and it's delicious. Of course, what morning is not complete without my coffee? I really like these keto creamers from Califia Farms. Um, they have one that actually says keto creamer on it, but pretty much all the creamers I've seen from them are keto-friendly, and of course, they're all plant-based. They're really good. Of course, I add a little tiny touch of soy milk. This one, we accidentally grabbed the wrong type of soy milk. So this one has a little bit of sugar, which is not good for keto. So don't get one with sugar in it like I did. But I love my, um, my soy milk and my coffee. So I went ahead and I added just a little bit. It's not going to be enough to kick me out of ketosis. Every day I have a little tiny bit of dark chocolate. The brand is Theo or Teo. I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's good. You can pick it up at your local grocery stores and they are an ethical chocolate company per the Food Empowerment Project. If you do not know what that is, I highly recommend that you check that out. This is one of my favorite flavors, the salted almond. I felt like a little bit of wine, so I thought, no, who are you kidding? Like you can't drink while you're doing keto. That's not gonna work out very well. And if you do decide to have any alcohol while you're on keto, definitely don't drink wine. I went ahead and got myself some cold brew green tea instead, which I sweetened with a little tiny bit of erythritol. Erythritol is a zero calorie sweetener that will not spike your blood sugar. 
I was finally ready to bust into some of the broccoli and hummus that I had made earlier. So here it is in all its glory. Finally got to the berry portion of the G-bombs. I've got some frozen blueberries that I'm about ready to thaw in the microwave. No, microwaves are not going to kill you. And uh, I also was a little snacky, so I got some crunchy peanut butter out and just sort of heated up the blueberries. Had a little tiny spoonful of crunchy peanut butter. That was just like a little snack. Washed it down with some fizzy water, and that was really, really good. It's dinner time now, and honestly, I just felt like a big giant salad, so I made myself one. I have a whole romaine heart there. I chopped it all up, and honestly, I put so much stuff in the salad. It was great, but the problem was that it was just too flippin' big, and my eyes were definitely bigger than my stomach here, so I ended up eating only about half of it, and I put the other half in the fridge for tomorrow. So you see that I have some of the broccoli once again. Chopping up that broccoli at the beginning of the day is so useful for the rest of the day and week. I ended up adding some tomato, more onions, more mushrooms, hemp seed hearts, flax seed, maybe even some chia seed, I think. So that definitely takes care of the seeds part of the G-Bombs acronym. Decided to go ahead and prepare a Beyond Meat sausage. I was just sort of jonesing, so I went for it. While that was cooking, I remembered to throw in some extra things onto the salad. Now, you'll see pecans and onions there. Also, there's my flaxseed. Uh, but you don't want to have too many beans while you're on keto, but it's so good for your gut that go ahead and have a little bit. It won't kill you. All in all, it was pretty satisfying mentally as well as physically. It was really good. This particular evening, I did not use Daya dressing. I used just a vinegar, but this is something that I will use on occasion. All right, that was my what I eat in a vegan keto day video. Give this video a thumbs up, pretty please. I really do appreciate the encouragement so much. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. I will see you all in the next one. Until then, ciao.